What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sean Gonzalez and this is Gonzalez Films. So I'm pretty sure you guys can tell by the title of this video. Uh, I built my first ever one of a kind custom 3D printed anamorphic lens. And we're just gonna be talking about that today. I just wanted to do something a little bit different and you're gonna hear me rambling on about this project. It took me about three months from start to finish. And these are the lenses right here beside me. If you follow my videos, you'll see that I have a review on a pair of Bausch & Lomb lenses. Now I have like two and a half, I guess you could say. So basically, I had two of these lenses and I wanted to make them as run and gun as possible as I could. So you couldn't do that with basically this lens by itself. You could use it, but it would have to be in a more controlled environment. You need diopters, you can't reach infinity, you need clamps. You need a custom thread to fit the diopter and you know you need lens supports it's a whole big mess it's heavy you can use it but you have to deal with all those caveats so basically i wanted to take it one step further and just find a way that i can use it on a run and gun setup if i needed to and it's actually modified to work even better than this one so i'm just going to tell you what i did basically i chopped it up number one took the glass out of it you just cut the back glass off this little lip I guess you could say there is one on the back you just cut that off you unscrew this ring right here take it off and you unscrew this barrel then that'll reveal two screws uh, flathead you remove those two screws and then the front lens comes off so those lenses are completely cemented or glued into uh, those pieces of aluminum which were inside the body uh, the rear is attached to the actual body and the inner one has another metal piece that was inside the lens so you can't take those out because you'll damage the lenses basically what I did was built these 3d printed holders to hold those two lenses on my 15 millimeter rods on my camera rig and then I just pointed it out the window to try to reach infinity wrote those numbers down it was a whole big mess uh, on trying to get this right but I was actually determined to get it done and I actually found the infinity marking that I needed in order to pull this off and I started designing on this software called Tinkercad it's a free software or website I should say um, and you could design on there and save all of your work and use it for 3d printing and I should mention I'm no professional at 3d printing I probably started maybe about four months ago. I printed out uh, the measurements that I needed and I actually designed this scope right here, or this lens I should say. So right here we have the FBD 24A on the front. This is the front optic. This is my infinity right here, what I measured to reach infinity. And then this is the rear optic with a built-in lens support on the back. Uh, there's even a... Uh, uh, support that I added on the front too, but I can remove this one if I needed to But I think I'm gonna leave it on there because this thing is still pretty heavy with the FVD 24a on there. So If you know what 3d printing material looks like uh, It's a bunch of lines melted together a bunch of layers uh, But for this what I did was I just basically covered it in a vinyl wrap and I added some decals to it to make it look uniform and make it look really nice. Uh, presented in CinemaScope and on the side it says anamorphic Bausch and Lam on both sides actually. So let me show you 0 0.8 meters. Uh, that's probably like three feet I believe. And then it goes all the way to infinity. So I can focus near and far. Um, it's not perfect. I will say that, but it's usable, way more usable than this lens. All right, so basically we have four parts on this lens, not including the FVD 24A. There's two parts that hold the front lens. Uh, there's the center part, and then there's the rear part that holds the rear glass. Um, there's probably about 15 screws holding everything in place. Uh, while these all screw together, um, there's threading attaching all of these so it's secure that way but the screws just make it like extra protection so it doesn't fall apart on you but even though uh, with the threading with everything threaded up and screwed together it's still pretty safe 
So it's pretty, it's a pretty solid lens. There's no shaking pieces anywhere. And it's really nice. Uh, this, it's a one of a kind lens, like I said, uh, with the FBD 24A on there. It's still pretty heavy. Um, probably as heavy as this still, but it has the focuser on it. So you can't complain. It's really sharp. Uh, the flares are nice. Um, I'm gonna show you some flare tests in just a second. But I really wanted to talk about the quality of it. And for some reason, when you're, when you're shooting at infinity, everything is really, really sharp from corner to corner. All four angles of the frame is really sharp. But when you're focusing on something a little bit closer, I would say maybe like 10 feet or five feet, the center of the frame is in focus, but on the top and the bottom, it kind of blurs a little bit. You may not be able to tell unless there's like really shallow depth of field uh, bokeh behind you, like with some lights or something like that. Um, the blur will cause the bokeh to actually shift, I guess you could say. I'm gonna show you guys in the, um, the test shots. Um, when you pan the camera, you can see the bokeh kind of like shift on you. But if you're just standing in one spot, it looks you know perfectly fine. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys some test shots and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the quality of the lens, make sure you check out the links down below so you can see the actual test shots outdoors. It looks really good in my opinion, and it's not bad for a first time custom anamorphic lens build. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments down below if you like the lens, if it looks better. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay updated to my uh, future videos that I have coming out. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.